hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share so today i'm going to be showing you how to draft your mermaid's case and without further ado let's dive right into the video so these are the measurements we'll be needing the waist the hips the waist to hips the skirt length and the waist to knee measurements so first of all just imagine this paper is on fold so i'm drafting the front first so first of all, I'm going to come down by half an inch. So this point will serve as my starting point. As you can see, the edge of the paper is not that smooth. So coming down by half an inch will give me that straight line. So that's where my measurements will start from. So I'm just going ahead to connect the lines like so. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my skirt length measurement. My skirt length is 45 inches and I need one inch to aim the lower part. Also, I need half an inch to sew up the upper part. Like if you're going to attach it to your band or you're going to attach it to your like your half length, like the upper bodies, making it a dress. It all depends on you. So now I'm marking 46 and a half inches. 45 inches for the skirt's length and one inch to aim the lower part and half inch to sew, to sew up the upper part. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So that's why I'm marking 46 and a half inches. So now that I've marked it, I'm just going to go ahead to use my straight trailer to connect it like so. So the next measurement I'll be taking now is my waist to hips measurement. My waist to hips measurement is eight inches but because we'll be needing half an inch to sew it up at the lower part at the upper part i mean and you know we are taking this measurement with our sewing allowance so i'm going to mark it and a half inches instead of eight inch inches right so by the time you sew up the upper parts with your band or your half length you're still going to have that eight inches when you take that half inch out i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so basically you mark it and a half inch instead of eight inch inches i mean so the next thing you're going to do is your waist to knee measurement my waist to knee measurement is 23 inches but you wouldn't mark 23 inches you come up by three inches so that's 20 inches plus half inch like i said you only take half so i'm marking 20 and half inches this half inches this half inch i'm talking about is to sew it up on the upper part so by the time you sew it up on the upper part it will still give you that 20 inch i don't i hope i'm not talking too much right now so basically i just marked 20 and a half inches so that's that the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking my waist measurement my waist circumference is 34 inches 34 inches divided by 4 that's 8.5 inches so i'm just going to go ahead to mark 8.5 inches on this my waistline which is also my starting point so i'll mark 8.5 inches and i'll be needing one inch to sew it up by the side so i'm just going to go ahead to mark one inch which is the sewing allowance so for the hips my hips measurement is 43 inches 43 inches divided by four that's 11.75 so on the hips line i'm just going to go ahead to mark 11.75 then one inch to sew it up by the side so for the knee line you're going to subtract 1.25 from whatever you have on this your hips line so on this is line, i basically have 12.75 minus 1.25 that will be 10.5 you know i've taken everything with my allowance so basically i'm just going to go ahead to mark 10.5 on my knee line so you wouldn't need to add any allowance again on that line so on the aiming line i'm going to go ahead to mark 18 inches sorry it's not really showing i didn't realize till now so i just went ahead to mark 18 inches on that line then i just get i went ahead to use my pattern curve to connect my lines like so so after connecting the lines you can also go ahead to come down by half inch on the waistline like the center center front for the waistline and connect it to the side i mean it's going to help you erase any kind of bulges and all that that's just by the way i didn't indicate here so the next thing i'm just going to do is i'm going to go ahead to cut out my front piece so 
so now this is what our front pattern looks like so we are just going to set this aside and place a new paper for the back piece so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead to mark nine inches from this point like so so just mark nine inches all the way down after marking nine inches all the way down you're going to get ready to use your straight trailer to connect the lines like so on that nine inches line you marked you're just going to go ahead to take your front pattern and make sure the center front is properly placed on that nine inches line you ruled on this back line i hope you get what i'm trying to say just make sure it is properly placed on that nine inches line so like so i'm just going to go ahead to use my paper tape to tape it down properly i'm still trying to place my paper properly yeah please don't mind the paper tape mess um i don't know why the paper is folding because it has been folded for a long time now so i guess that's why it's folding so i'm just using my paper tape to place it properly and that's it basically so for the back now because we'll be needing the, the zip allowance i'm just going to go ahead to mark one inch all the way to the knee line so that's where our zip will be placed so i'm just going to go ahead to extend my knee line measurement like so then i'm going to go ahead to connect the lines like so so after connecting my line i'm just going to go ahead to extend it like an a shape like so all the way to this point yeah so now it's going to give us that fullness we want at the at the like at the back so exactly so that's just it basically the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead to cut it out and place it on my fabric so stay tuned so this is what our back pattern looks like after cutting it out I'm, I'm sorry i apologize for the folding i don't even know why it's folding so basically yeah this is what the back pattern looks like after cutting it out so now i'm just going to go ahead to place it on my fabric and cut it out so this is what the front looks like on my fabric i just placed my paper and cut it out and this is what the back looks like on my fabric please if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share i mean that's the only way you can support me and make my channel grow please subscribe subscribe oh uh, thank you and see you in my next video bye